Oh, hello. Sorry, dragon friend. I've got to see what's back here. All right, so the corruption is up to my knees. Let's see what happens after we do this cutscene. Me. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Okay. <gasps> oh no. Pyramid oh waiting. crap, chat. I wasn't wrong. It is new. Look, now it's up to my waist. I'm getting corrupted. I don't know why I suddenly floated there for a second. <laughs> Yeah, look at me. I'm half corrupted now. Huh. Intriguing. Intriguing. Yeah, well, it's it's leading to some plot point here. I mean, there is a reason we're probably getting corrupted. <laughs> yes, I was ascending. All right. Well, I'm curious when everybody is free, so they kept no one to use my parents couldn't find them. You know what's sad is I haven't gotten a Terry Orange since my parents moved to Arizona. I think I might have bought one myself every once in a while, but I don't think I've legit been given one since since they moved. So it's been a good six years now. Yeah, Graham would always get us one of those for Christmas, and we always got a cherry orange and, depending on who it was, either a handful or an entire stocking full of walnuts. Look at the little statue. But yeah, apparently that came from uh, Graham's childhood. Because her parents, obviously during World War II, they didn't have a lot. So in their stockings at Christmas time, every kid would get one orange and a handful of walnuts. And that was like a huge treat to get fresh fruit then. Interesting family bits. Well, welcome on in, McClassy. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Yeah, that's how I kind of feel too, Alba. But I haven't had one in a very long time. I haven't had one since. I love them. I love them. Yeah, it was definitely a World War II thing, Zero Sniper, because all of that kind of stuff was rationed. So, to get fresh citrus like that was a huge deal. But no, that is definitely 100% a World War II thing, as is the handful of walnuts. Alright, well, let's go back through the scorching heat. We have our second gear. Oh, nice, McClassy. Nice, and congrats. Yeah, I have to say, I've been enjoying... I don't remember which one I got. I think it's a 3060 is what I ended up with. Because we got lucky and we won one of the new egg raffles. Well, it, exactly. Exactly, Zero Sniper. It's just like another... Another fun family tradition in the, the crafty side of the family. Is uh, my grandfather was a... Uh, aeronautic mechanic during World War II, so he fixed the, the bombers and stuff. And so, because of that, he's also, or he was, a pilot. So our whole family was just always about airplanes and stuff. When Hallmark started coming out with those little airplane ornaments, it became a family tradition that we always got one. And it was always my grandmother that did that, so when she passed, I kind of quietly took up the mantle of that one to make sure that Dad still got his uh, airplane every year. I made him cry this year when I gave it to him. It was made me very happy. No, they're not a legend. You can get them if you're lucky, but only if you're lucky. We got apples and oranges. Yep. Because those were a treat back then, because they, it wasn't like just going to the grocery store. Stuff like that was expensive. 
Yeah, it, exactly, exactly, Alba. Exactly. Because oranges do not last nearly as long as, like, an apple does, depending on the apple variety. All right, so gear number two. So I think we're done with this area. Yeah, I don't like that corruption coming up my, my torso there. Isn't it sad that I kind of miss getting a stocking full of walnuts for Christmas? <laughs> it sounds like the dumbest thing on the planet, but I kind of miss getting my stocking of walnuts. Apple and orange, a penny and a toy were typical Christmas presents when my grandma's growing up. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now it's, unfortunately for a lot of people, just all consumerism. And you know it's funny. Hold on, cutscene. That's insane, Scrub, and that's awesome. Oh, this is going to be an interesting little puzzle. I like pecans, and then I can make spice pecans. Oh. Yeah, cinnamon spice pecans are delicious. Now, I'd be curious uh, what recipe you use, Zero Sniper. Because the recipe I use is super simple. Although I haven't made spice nuts in a long time. That was an ominous sound that that just made. Oh! Ow. Okay. Thought you were making a new scarf. No, I wish, McClassy. I wish. I, unfortunately... Unfortunately, I am actually um, not allowed to knit at least for four weeks. Uh, I actually asked my OT today when she thought I'd be able to return to knitting, and she kind of gave me that look of, we're, we're going to aim for four weeks, is what she said. And I'm like, oh, but, but I want to knit things. But yeah, but yeah, I am not, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've heard yet, McClassy, but uh, yeah, Crafty is currently not allowed to do any sort of crafting. So she said four weeks from surgery, so hopefully sometime in January I'll be able to knit for short periods of time again, but it's not, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a couple of months, unfortunately. It's going to be a couple of months, unfortunately, which I'm not happy about, but it is what it is, and I'm not going to risk hurting my wrist further. I occupied in Norway, so they threw the bombs. Oh, no! Wow. That's an awesome story, Scrub. That's a really awesome story. Scary, but awesome. And yeah, Andy, well, if you're right, they would be rare in Europe with uh, imports and stuff during that time. Oh, yeah, this person I care about games, having friends and friends. You know what? Same here, Shen. Same here. We were actually talking about that with uh, Zero Wolf's family on Saturday. That... The adults on Zero Wolf's side of the family we really don't trade presents. Like, we'll get little things for each other. Like, um, we, our thing is that Zero Wolf and I always make something. Uh, and this year was a fudge year. So everyone got a three-quarter pound bag of homemade fudge. And the same thing, his sister and her husband uh, made everyone homemade spaghetti sauce. And, oh, that was good. And it's funny, we're all more excited about the homemade spaghetti sauce and fudge than we are any, like, other kind of present. Because it's the gift of time. And people just don't understand how t much time is worth you, to you. I can talk today, I really can. Happy needs to go eat something, apparently. 
hope your wrist heals soon for both. Yeah, me too. Me too, uh, McClassy. I mean, I'm looking at, unfortunately, 8 to 12 weeks before it's really okay and I'm released from therapy. But, yeah, whatever. It is my own fault that I'm in this situation. Okay, how do I get up there? How do? How do up? How do up? Um, how do up? How do up? Teach Zero Wolf how to knit and have him knit a scarf. You know, I've offered to teach Zero Wolf to knit and he just doesn't want to. Yeah, I get the diagram, but how up? How do up? Um, how do up? Yeah, was there a socket over there that I missed? Probably. There probably was a socket that I missed. I'm also curious, chat. I just looked over at my preview. Has the game been stuttering all day today? And I just never noticed that the video was stuttering? Because if it's been stuttering all day, I apologize, because I did not catch that. Because I haven't seen it dropping any frames. Yep, right there. It has. Right. Well, I wish one of you had told me that. <laughs> Only every once in a while? Okay. Because, yeah, if the video's bad, I can adjust settings to make it better. It's started a little since I joined. Oh, okay. Well, good to know. I wish I'd known that sooner. That should fix it. No, no, it's me. Because it's running smooth for me. Alright, but that should fix it. That should fix it. Alright, here we go. Hi. You were hard to catch, sir. And or madam. See, I'm beginning... I'm beginning to wonder if what I'm doing is the right thing or not. I'm beginning to wonder if what I'm doing is the right thing or not. Because I'm kind of getting those vibes that maybe I'm not doing the right thing here. Maybe I'm not doing the right thing. Oh. All right. Stretch. Oh. I'm not bad, though. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I'll just turn the graphics down. YouTube will just have to deal with a stuttery video today. <laughs> oh. Um. Was this here before, chat? Was this here before? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Zero Sniper. Wrong thing for the right reasons. Um. Was this pyramid here before? I don't think so either. Huh. Oh dear. I'm... Mm. <laughs> so much for this being a lighthearted game. I don't know. Also, does that not look like an eclipse up there? Alright, well we got some souls to drop off. Fill that, that portal a little bit more. And opened up the last area. So it looks like this is a fairly short game. Well, that's true. That's true. If it is from the main character's perspective, they are doing what's the right thing to them. And every villain is a hero in their own eyes. Yeah, Eclipse or Portal, you're right. I'm also not sure how I feel about this whole sea full of souls. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> there's, there's more than meets the eye here. There is more than meets the eye here. Um, but we are nearing the end of stream, so I'm actually going to... We're going to 
to explore this area a little bit because now I have more abilities and I wonder if there's some secrets here. Or maybe I'm just getting my stuff myself stuck in the scenery. But yeah, I don't want to enter that last area right now because we are approaching where I need to wrap up and I don't want to start that new area until we have time to complete everything. I feel like there's a way to get up there. You are definitely trying to run for you? Maybe. Also, I appreciate the seagull sounds right here. Um, where was that? We're gonna go check something really quick, because I remember... Was that the first area? Yeah, because that's the desert. This was the first area we went into, and I thought there was an... No! You are going to replay the level from the beginning. Your abilities will reset while being inside. All the collectibles you have gathered already will have disappeared. No, I don't want to continue. That seems silly, though. Like, there was grapple points in this level. Huh. I'm pretty sure that this level had grapple points in it, but I guess maybe I'm wrong? Hmm. Yeah, that's that. Was it behind here that there were grapple points? Now I'm just kind of exploring this uh, central area. And welcome on in, Mir. Welcome on in. Uh, the pub is doing all right. The pub is actually doing all right. Um, I'm a little, a lot, bit sore today because I had a therapy appointment this morning. And... Uh, the therapist did exactly what she's supposed to do, which is pushing me past what I have already been doing at home. And uh, I didn't ice while I was there because I knew Zero Wolf was coming to pick me up. And I was going to ice when I got home and uh, just lost track of time while getting ready for stream. So I haven't iced my wrist yet. But it's a little sore right now. The dismal, rainy, wet weather isn't helping either, so now I can legit say uh, I can feel the rain coming in my wrist. Guess we'll start this area. So no, the paw is doing okay. The paw is doing okay. But I'm going to... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Shen. I'm going to when I'm done streaming. I'm going to when I'm done streaming, because I gotta do my, my afternoon lunchtime exercises, and then I'll ice after I do that. I'll stream right now in Ice Risk. Well, I'm going to be ending soon, actually. Like, we're going to check out the start of this level, and then this is where we're going to pick up tomorrow. And then we'll we'll do this one first before we launch into the second Pad Crafty Ice now. I'm going to... It's not required that I ice. It will just help. I'll ice in a minute. <laughs> Let's look at this cutscene, and then we'll ice. In the verdant forest, three mm. guileless shades were Look, there's a whole bunch of new mechanics here. Oh, look at the drawings! Huh. All right. Well, since you all are bullying me... All right, I need to slide, slide here. But yeah, for those just joining us today that did not see this game yesterday, this is Scarf. And we have a Scarf-shaped dragon friend here, as I accidentally click off the screen. Hey, can I bounce on these mushrooms? And as with everything, just please let me know if the music is too loud, too soft, all that fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, ain't that the truth, Aragon? Ain't that the truth? Oh my god. I've played through Ori in the Blind Forest. I have not played Will of the Wisps yet. Um, but yeah, Blind Forest does just kind of gut punch you in the feels, doesn't it? There we go. Is this a birdhouse? It is totally a birdhouse. This is cute. I'm just an ethereal cryptid blanket monster with hot cocoa. Hey. There's nothing wrong with that, Spectral K. Okay? Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I, I am under a fox blanket, big surprise, sipping on some uh, crystal light that has sneak in it because there has not been coffee yet. <laughs> My subtle hint was not so subtle, was it? 
I know, you're doing stuff. And you are allowed to, because this is your vacation. I gotta get through this before you show it. Well, you'll, you'll probably get through it before I show it on stream, uh, Amaryllis. Because I have so many other games in my backlog that I'm not... I'm trying very hard not to... Ooh, burbs! Oh. Oh. Huh. Okay. So burbs will not let me have orb. Alright, so I need to make something to cover my head to scare them, it looks like. Huh. Alright. Ah, <laughs> gotcha, Amaryllis. Gotcha. Yeah, I picked up... See, okay, with Ori and the Blind Forest, I I was gifted that game when it was really cheap on the Steam sale because somebody thought, uh, a family member thought I would like it, and they were right. I did like it, but I'm not good at that brutal pl puzzle platform that, shoot, I'm not good at brutal games like that typically. I've gotten better at them since high streaming, but I put off playing it for a very long time. Like, I have Hollow Knight too. And I am terrified to play that game. Like, no joke, I am scared to death of Hollow Knight. Because I've heard Hollow Knight is absolutely brutal play too, and I'm just... I like playing those games, I'm just not a fan of streaming them because I'm so bad at them that I think people get bored watching me die over and over and over and over again. Oh, that's true too, that's true too, Argon. Now, I am using both hands today. Um, but this game is gentle enough that it's not really stressing out my wrist. But I, I would prefer to play Ori with a controller, and I am not allowed to use a controller right now. Soon. Soon. Well, yeah, and that, that's why I'm scared of Hollow Knight. That's why I'm scared of Hollow Knight. I mean, regardless of whether it's less or more brutal than Ori, Ori was brutal enough. I spent three hours on the last level just trying to beat it. Hey, welcome on in, Alexa Fox. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. I'm not sure why Scarf Dragon is hiding. Are we playing peekaboo with our Scarf Dragon? Oh my god, this is so cute. We're playing peekaboo with Scarf Dragon. This is so cute! Look at him checking to see if I'm coming! Oh my god. This is adorable! Oh my goodness. Good job, game, on giving me a shock of uh, lightheartedness right here. After you spend all that time corrupting me with that uh, black ink down there. That is very cute. <laughs> but it makes it feel more alive, too. Like I was saying yesterday, all the little like critters and stuff running around the world make this feel so much more alive and rich. Like I love a good, rich world like this. Of course, the first thing I try and do is go out of bounds. I don't need to get up there, though. Got some paints that they use to paint the rock. Oh, uh, we should be concerned, Azulia. We should be concerned. Because we, we've done a couple of things. Those inks, uh, specifically these things. Because we found all three in this level. Every time we view one of these, we get more darkness in us. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what that means. Not quite sure what that means, that every time we see one of these, we get more darkness in us. It's just concerning. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. It's not a good thing. I can guarantee you it's not a good thing. Oh, burbs. Oh, burbs. Um. Alright. So, let's see here. Let's see here. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get a hat. Ah! Oh, we have a hat now. Or at least a mask to scare the burbs. But y'all are going to hate me. I'm going to backtrack to the first area now. Okay, good. You can with that on. Yeah, we're going to backtrack to that first area where the burbs were because obviously we need this mask to scare them away and I want to know why. What are they hiding? Oh, lizard! Lizard! He's so cute. I could play these kind of games all day long. No atmospheric puzzle platformers. Uh, no. And that's true. That's true, Argon. I mean, there cannot be light without... Or light cannot exist without casting shadows. And shadows cannot exist without light. That is the balance of the world. And whenever one gets to be too much... <laughs> Whenever it gets to be too much, light becomes blinding and darkness becomes consuming. And I wish I could claim that as my own quote, but that's actually from Final Fantasy XIV. Burbs! <laughs> I scared you, burbs. Alright, so what do I do with orb? What do with orb? Um, that seems like an odd thing that I would have to do, but I wonder if that is what we do. I am going to do something that's probably dumb, chat, but I'm curious. Son of a biscuit, there is a secret down here. Ha! Huh. There is a secret down here. There we go. I bet you this is another one of those secret ink things. Clever, clever game. Clever, clever. <laughs> da 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 da. There you go. What is in here? Yep, it's another one of the bad things. That's the item get jingle. Oh, is uh the secret item um Oh shoot. Is it like da -da 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 -da? I don't know. It's been a while since I played Breath of the Wild. Alright, so let's mark it, chat. The blackness is up to our waist. She gave birth to an unspeakable power. Pieces of herself taking a new form. I'm guessing this is Mama Dragon. The truth shall be unveiled. Hmm. Well, it didn't give us any more of the corruption or blackness or whatever that is. It's just, it's always interesting that Scarf Dragon will not come into these rooms with us. Now we have to console Scarf Dragon. It's okay, buddy. Come, friend. Ah. Or I'm kind of laughing at myself that I can reproduce Zelda noises, apparently, fairly accurately. Once I remember which noise it is. Alright, well that was worth backtracking for. I'm still kind of sad that we completely missed three of those in the first level, but... I didn't exactly know what I was looking for yet. There we go, that's how you glide. 
refreshing my memories here. Okie dokie. Alright, so let's advance the story this direction. Because there are burbs and a slingshot. So goodbye, burbs. Sorry, burbs. Also, please let me know if the video was stuttering again today and I'll make adjustments. I'm also curious why the music just went ominous on us. I can recreate so many game noises. I seem to only be able to do, like, Legend of Zelda noises. Alright, so there's something up there. Here is so beautiful. Oh ho, I see a pathway behind the waterfall, because there's always a path behind the waterfalls. Hmm. One way path, though. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. So it looks like we can't get up that direction. Yeah, thank you for that host. No, thank you very much. And also, I don't think I said thank you the other day. Because I think it happened right as I was wrapping up stream. But also, thank you for those kibble biddies, no. I believe that happened uh, last week, actually. And I just didn't uh, catch it before the stream raided into somebody. Can you make a sound like my voice is on helium? I'm impressed, Alexa Fox. I cannot do that. My falsetto is absolutely terrible. Now, I can do bass. Like, I can lower my voice ridiculously low. God, my chorus teacher loved that when I was in chorus. Hey, we need an extra tenor for this song. Hey, Crafty. Can you do the tenor part? Sure, boss. I can do the tenor part. Tenor's more fun than alto anyway. Hmm. I think we're supposed to do something with these at some point. I also love the fact that I'm still running around with that mask on. Oh! Oh! Friends! Oh! Yeah, I just, <clears throat> I still wonder if we're doing the right, the wrong thing for the right reasons. I mean, granted, the beginning of the game says that they did tear apart Scarf Mom. Oh, where are you going, bud? Where are you going, Scarf Friend? I'm coming, I'm following. Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid, friend? Also, you notice that little toy looks like the collectibles we were finding in the other levels? Oh no. I, I still have not figured out if we're doing the right thing or if we're doing the wrong thing for the right reasons. Alright, I see a stairway over there. Sorry, looking at this area and that stairway just gave me hard Shadow of the Colossus vibes. That is a game that I would love to play again. It has been an age since I played Shadow of the Colossus. Never beaten it either. I scare my friends when I do it. Well. Alright. Nothing wrong with scaring your friends a little. Oh, we found a path. 
to see where this pathway leads us. It leads us to a chasm. Oh, I'm sure it is. Yeah, you can totally go down there. Which begs the question of if you're... Well, I guess we're going down here anyway. If you can go down here, why the pillar in the center to skip it? <laughs> Nothing there. Hmm. Let's see what's over here. Again, the music's going sinister. Oh, oh, okay. No lollygagging on this stuff, apparently. Ah. Oh man, yeah, they're making this a little bit harder now, aren't they? This still isn't too bad. This, at least this isn't the ring puzzle in Omno, if y'all remember that one. That one drove me insane. I almost better if I'm I can talk I almost wonder if I'm better at these games when I just kind of admit it that I can't use a controller and I'm better with keyboard and mouse yeah just an, an idle crafty observation that I seem to be better with uh, keyboard and mouse while I'm playing this okay so I guess it's a leap of faith we're going somewhere. I'm not sure where we're going. Look at little statues. And not so little statue. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, the flowers are changing colors as I run through them. Even as I rotate the camera, the colors are changing on the flowers. That's neat. See that, chat? Even when I rotate the camera, the red always stays in front of- Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, the glider is absolutely gorgeous. Now... You gotta be kidding me, game. No, I don't think you are. Yeah, this entire game is beautiful. I am so glad. I am so glad that the, the devs and publisher gave me a chance to show this one off to you all. Because this is fantastic. He's just chilling with the glide. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, Darius. But yeah, this is, because I don't think I've mentioned it today, uh, this is actually a review game that we're doing. Uh, the devs were kind enough to let me have a copy of this to do a playthrough and review for you all. If it is something that you're liking, it is available on Epic, Steam, and the Humble Bundle store. Alright, so we got five of these sigils we need to find. Yeah, I, I'm having an absolute riot with this game, and I can highly recommend it. Buddy! Di <laughs> buddy! Hello, buddy friend. Can I pet you? God, you're as big as I am, rabbit. Oh! <laughs> I love that animation where it's just flop. Oh, bun bun! Bun bun! 
I'm so easily amused. Bun bun! Ooh, apples. And, okay. Bun bun, do you want an apple? Do you want an apple, bun bun? I don't think the bun bun wants an apple. Do you want an apple, bun bun? Oh. Have fun. Wait. That, what? <laughs> that actually worked. Um. Uh, okay, that's hilarious. I didn't think the rabbit actually would eat the apple. That is awesome. I fed the bun bun. Did I feed all the bun buns? Oh my god. I want to feed all the rabbits now. I don't think I can cross the water with this. No, it's too deep. Okay, can I, can I feed the bun bun again? Can, can I feed bun bun again? Or did bun bun leave now? I think bun bun left because I fed him. Oh, no, 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 there's bun bun. Would you like another apple bun bun? Maybe, Azuleo. Come on, Bun-Bun. You shove this apple in your face and be adorable and eat it. There you go. Have apple. Yeah, I don't think the Bun-Bun's gonna eat another apple. I think they only eat one. I can't believe you actually ate the apple. I was just being a twit. <laughs> I was just being a twit. I didn't think he'd actually eat the apple. Let's see if I can get over this by jump jumping. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a little land bridge. Okay, apple, you're coming with me. I'm like that dog that won't go into the three inches of water because they think it's deeper than it is. All right. Huh. Apple! Do you not want apple? Was that a one-time thing that the rabbit ate the apple? Apple. There you go. Uh, I'm not sure how you ate the apple laying down, rabbit, but I'll take it. I really hope this does give me an achievement or something, because this is freaking adorable. Three. This is why it's going to take me three hours to finish this game, is we're feeding all of the bunnies. Apple. Yeah, there we go. All right, those two bun buns have been fed. You are not eating your apple. Also, please don't feed lots of apple to rabbits. It's actually not good for them. A little apple is okay as a treat. But lots of apple and your your rabbit will have very um loose. There we go. So the only bun bun that's being obstinate right now is this bun bun, and I can't pick up that apple anymore, so maybe it's glitched. Why why did they put in apple feeding? Come on, must feed all the rabbits. Have an apple. Well, and even those in moderation. Even those in moderation, Darius. Honestly, the best thing for a rabbit is hay. Uh, carrots have a lot of sugar in them, which isn't exactly good for rabbits. And, uh... Depending on the kind of lettuce you're giving them, you actually, again, can give your rabbit uh, very loose stools because of the water content. As treats, those things are great. But never, never, uh... Come on. No? You don't want to eat that? Every other bun bun is eaten. Just not hungry? 
Guess you're not hungry. Oh! Uh, okay. Do you want an apple, oh. Scarf Dragon? Okay. So, the statue dispenses apples? Oh, hold on a second. What? Is this a bowling alley? You've got to be kidding me. It's totally a bowling alley! Oh my god, that is so cute. Well, what is this area? Okay, I don't understand what you want, Scarf Dragon. So let me pet you, because you're adorable. So you're showing me that that dispenser dispenses apples. Okay. Can I just bury the rabbit in apples then? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's so adamant about telling me that dispenses apples. Weird. Fresh grass. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Scrub Lord. Now, I had three bun buns growing up. And my brother still has two. Because honestly, bunnies make great companion pets. Oh, there's something under the water here. Yeah, bunnies are great companion pets, but they are not like having a cat or a dog. <laughs> Jurassic Bark. Aww. Have you heard about the new dog movie? It's called Jurassic Bark. I approve. I approve. Welcome on in. Winter Bonachi, Batman, and Redneck Coyote. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you all doing today? And yes, 3D Crafty is still absent because this game does not like 3D Crafty. But that's okay. Some games don't. Now, I'd rather showcase how beautiful the game is than my, my beautiful VC face avatar. And this game is gorgeous. This game is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, for those of you joining us today, we are playing a game called Scarf. It is a wonderful atmospheric puzzle platformer. And I am having quite a bit of fun playing. We're on, I think, what is maybe the last level. Not sure. And yes, it is Scarf Dragon, friend. Uh, today is going to be rough, but anything is possible. I agree with this. My Bebenoid. Oh. Yeah, I, I got a little bit more than that winter bunnage, but I did not sleep well last night either. My wrist actually was bothering me quite a bit last night because our weather can't make up its mind what it wants to do. Um. Okay, this is the puzzle. Huh. Oh yes, all of the furry puns. So what is... Okay, three apples. Alright, so we got a bird, a horse, and two rabbits. And then we've got a tree. Interesting. Yeah, welcome on in, Guitar Guy. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? I, I'm slightly confuzzled here. Uh. Swear, excuse me, feel like yeah. Oh, you you can totally swear here. We are we are marked as an 18 plus stream. I usually don't enforce that rule. But yeah, as long as you don't fill the chat with expletives, I don't care. Okay. No shade the terms of his leash. Oh. 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 oh there's much the same. Thing. I want snow. Our weather has just been all over the board. Like yesterday, the high was 45. Today, the high is 32. 
It's like, weather make up your mind. Okay, I... Hmm. I do like that one means negotiate. Well, I saw her menopause, as I say. You know what? That's not probably far off from the truth, Sophie Stanks. That's probably not far off from the truth. Aww. Well, Snuggly Bed does solve a lot of problems. That is very true. Alright, so I'm a little bit at a loss here for this one, chat. I, it feels like... It feels like I'm supposed to get... Thank you, Zero. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna try an experiment here. This might kill me. Nope, it won't even let me do it. Um, and thank you for that host, Avi. Thank you, thank you. Hosts really do help out, as does the host from Mr. Zero Wolf. Thank you. Welcome on in, Avi, and welcome on in. We are... I hate to say it, I think I'm stuck. Because it feels like I'm supposed to get those pedestals onto here, but how? There's gotta be more information here, so let's search around a little bit. Alright, nothing down here. Ooh, okay, okay. What is around here? Yeah, thank you for that host as well, Arctic. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today? So many good beans out there in the chat today. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! More things. Thank goodness, and a host from Redneck Coyote. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so what is this? I need to go work. Hey, well, I will provide all of the chill with our dragon friend here. Oh, I think I know what I have to do. Hold on. Can I put this on the... Yes. Ha 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 ha! We got it. You had to put the ball on the pedestal. And there's a hint here, too. There's a hint here. So... The bird goes with the mountain, the rabbits go with the apples, and the children go with the toy. Got it. Dog, you don't pay rent, you don't cook or clean or contribute anything to this house. I think it's time you give up, give you an eviction notice. Dog, lays their head on landlord's lap, wagging their tail. Okay, fine, one more month. <laughs> yeah, ain't that the truth. Those big soft eyes of the puppers and the felines. They can get anything they want with those big soft eyes. <laughs> Alright, so now we know what we have to do here. The rabbits go with the apples. Rabbits with apples. Actually, it has to be kind of infuriating you out there in chat, because I'm like, hey, backseating is totally fine with these puzzles, and I end up not needing backseating because I can figure them out. Although I do appreciate, uh, I do appreciate the, the hints every once in a while when there's something I don't get. God, ain't that the truth of guitar guy. Backseat scrawl, eh? Hey, I'm okay with a little bit of backseating. The only thing I ever ask is let me struggle for a little bit. But chat here has always been very, very good about that for the most part of going, okay, she's really stuck. Let's give her a little subtle nudge in the right direction, and then that just kind of gets the ball rolling. All right, so this should work. Huzzah! That's one piece. 
Okay. So, one sigil down. Boop. And I guess that's my hint to take the ball. And let's go. So, one down, four to go. One down, four to go. Where is our next puzzle location?